Hello everyone and welcome to another beginner Python project. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a BMI calculator. Now if you want to wear BMI it stands for body mass index and is a general way of working out what sort of weight range you fit into. Um, it's a metric that's used to analyze how healthy someone is based on their height and their weight and it's a way to estimate what weight someone should be to remain healthy at a certain height. Now, um, the way it's calculated is if you're using metric units, i.e. meters, height in meters or centimeters, and also weight in kilograms, pretty much BMI is calculated by the weight of the person in kilograms divided by their squared height in meters. And if you're using imperial units, you use the same method, but you're going to times it by a conversion constant, which I will show you later. Now, if someone is less than 18.5, they are considered to be underweight according to what is, from what I've read, seems to be the general perspective of people who analyze this sort of data. Uh, it appears that from the sources I've read, these are the ranges that you'd want to be in to be classified within a certain category, right? So for most people, it appears that a healthy weight range is considered BMI between 18.5 to 24.9. Now, pretty much, this shouldn't be too hard to program. All we really need to do is ask the user for their height and weight, and then we're just going to spit out BMI back to them. However, we do want to ask them if they're using imperial or metric units, because as I said before, if we're using imperial units, i.e. feet and weight in pounds, height and inches, sorry, and weight in pounds, um, we will need to times the calculation by a conversion constant. Anyway, um, just for starters, what we normally do is, what we're going to do is, we're going to hit, start the program with a while true statement. Now, while true will mean the, the program will continue looping, so that means they can ask for their BMI or their friend's BMI as many times as they want. Now, what I'm going to do is give the people two options, and we're going to tell them that they can either enter 1 for metric or enter 2 for imperial. And how we're going to ask them what they're going to do is we're going to give them an input. So we're just going to say the unit that they're using, we'll call the variable units, is just an input and they can write whatever they want. But we're hoping that they write 1 or 2. So if the units is equal to 1 because they entered 1, that means they want to use metric. What we're going to do is we're going to calculate this using the metric system. All right. So, as I said, BMI is the weight divided by the squared height. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to first ask the user to enter their height in centimetres. Now, we want to be very careful here. We want to give them the ability to use as much accuracy as they want. So, we're going to set the variable that they're inputting to be a float. Now, this means that they can enter a decimal for their height. Moving on, we want to also ask them their weight. So the weight will also be a float and it will be an input and we want to ask them what is their weight in kilograms because as I said, we're working with the metric system if they entered in one. So what we next want to do is because BMI is actually calculated by weight divided by squared height in meters, it should say in meters there, we want to actually find out the person's height in meters. We've asked them to input it in centimeters. To, to convert that from meters to centimeters, what we want to do is we want to say, say that meters height equals height divided by 100. So that will convert from centimeters to meters. Next, what we want to do is we want to calculate the height squared the height in meters squared. How we do this is we set up a new variable called height squared, and we're going to set that equal to the height in meters, which we just calculated, times the height in meters, which we just calculated, meaning that we'll end up with the height times the height, therefore the height squared. Next, what we want to do is we want to actually calculate the BMI. Now, how we're going to do this is we're going to set up a variable called BMI, and we're going to say that BMI equals the weight divided by the height squared. Now, what I've actually done here is use the round function. And I'm using round because ultimately, when someone looks at their BMI, they don't really care about the 10th decimal place. They really just want to see the first two numbers and maybe a couple decimals after that. Now, so what I'm going to be doing is we're using the round function here. And if you're unaware, the round function, what it does is the first thing you write into the round function is the actual 
number that you wish to be rounded and then after that you put a comma and then you put the number of decimals decimal points you wish to round it to so in this instance we want it to round to two decimal places so what we're going to be doing is send the BMI equal to the weight divided by the squared height as which is the calculation of BMI and we're going to round it to two digits then following that we're just going to print out the BMI by using print with a comma and then BMI all right so that's all done but what we want to do now is we want to work out how to calculate their BMI if they use impure units. Now, how we're going to do this, of course, is by using if units equals equals 2. This is because if they enter in 2, then we want to use imperial. And what we're going to do is it's going to be very similar at the start. We're going to ask for their height and weight again. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to say it's a float again, but we're going to be entering their height in inches and entering their weight in pounds. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to use the numbers in a different unit, or sorry, tell the people to enter a different unit. So when we use it, we're going to times by the conversion constant, as I said before, to calculate in imperial units. Next, we once again do need to work out the height squared, because when using imperial units, BMI is still calculated by the weight divided by the squared height, but we will need to use a conversion constant, which I'll show you very shortly. So once again, we're going to set up a height squared variable, and it's just equal to height times height. Notice we didn't have to use the meters height div uh, division by 100 here again, because um, in the calculation for imperial, we're not using meters. We had to convert from centimeters to meters there. We don't need to do any conversion. Height in inches is completely fine. Next, we want to actually directly calculate the BMI. Now, what I was explaining before about the conversion constant between imperial units and metric is that when calculating between with imperial units, what we have to do is to get an equivalent answer to what we'd get using metric units, we'd have to get the weight in pounds divided by the height in inches times the conversion constant of 703. So yeah, the conversion constant is 703. So once again, we're going to use the round function, and the number we're actually working out is 703 times the weight, all divided by the height squared. And how many units are we rounding to? Well, we're rounding to simply 2. And of course, exact same process as above, we're going to have to print out the BMI. Alrighty. That's all. Let's give this a quick run so we can get rid of this. And let's give this a quick run. All right, for metric enter one, for imperial enter two. Let's go one, height in centimeters. All right, 175 cm, which is five foot nine. And the weight in kilograms, let's say they are sitting at 75 kilos. BMI, 24.49. Now, if I didn't remove the last screen, we could have probably analyzed whether or not that was healthy or not. I think I still have it copied. Beautiful. Still have it copied. So we can see that it appears according to the source I found. Not saying that this is necessarily, this should definitely not be used as medical advice or anything, but uh, according to the source I found, it appears that that is within the healthy weight range. Now, let's try this for imperial. Uh, height in inches, let's say uh, for an equivalent height in inches, they would have to be 69 inches for 5 foot 9, 5 times 12, 60 plus 9, 69. And honestly, weight in pounds, I'm not sure what the equivalence point would be. I'm going to oh, I'm gonna have a shot and say it's about 165 pounds. 24.36, okay, very close. So my conversion from pound to kilogram, kilograms to pound, my head is still going all right. But as you can see, uh, this works well whether you use... Um, uh, imperial or you use metric and if you don't enter one or two it's just going to ask them again which is very good so that's actually it for um, this program uh, there's nothing more to show you uh, it's all done and really not too not too difficult at all ultimately it's just a matter of asking the user for a bit of information and just doing a bit of number crunching with their information spitting it right back to the user alrighty Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider subscribing as you'll be notified whenever I create a new video and I'll be making lots in the near future. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all later.